Hello everyone, it's Ray, and welcome back to another episode. I had originally filmed this video with a face cam, but unfortunately my computer is just really old, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do face cams until I get my new computer. We're ordering it this Sunday. It should be here by sometime next week or the week after that, um, so I'll just have to wait to do face cams until then. It's just, oh man, my like software to edit my videos is just freezing up and taking way too long. Long, and it doesn't do that when I don't have the face cam on it so anyway before we start today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we are going to go ahead and start so today's episode is going to focus on a few different things first and foremost I want to age up our little baby the prince Prince Kellen I think that it is his birthday so we're going to age him up and I'm so excited to see what he looks like because his sisters look completely different so princess Amira looks like her father and then princess May looks like her mother so I'm so excited to see what Prince Kellen is going to look like Aw, King George has sent Prince Kellen a gift. Oh, his grandfather sent him a gift. <gasps> okay, Prince Kellen aged up. I'm going to have him be... I forgot what the girls are. I know one of them's wild. I think the other one's clingy, I think. I don't remember. Why don't we have Prince Kellen be a charmer? That sounds like a good baby. Uh, we want him to be a charmer. Okay, oh, okay, he has brown hair. Oh my gosh, guys, he's got brown hair. We have not had a king in a while with brown hair. So I am excited. Oh, this is so interesting. The babies turned out so differently. King Henry and his sisters, they all were blonde. So it's so interesting that now they are different and they have brown hair. Actually, is that different color hair than his mom? Oh my gosh, the butler needs to just get out of the way. Seriously? Okay. Oh, oh no, okay. He's got his mother's eyes. He looks like his mother. Oh, I'm so happy, guys. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Oh, we have three little toddlers in the house again. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, I'm getting too emotional. Okay, so I will definitely change Prince Kellen's outfits um, another time. I want to focus on a few other things. So another thing is that Princess Anna has decided to pursue an acting career. So this is what she has always wanted to do ever since she became a teenager. I don't know if you guys have seen the previous episodes, but this is like all she's been wanting to do. So her acting skill is like really high. Well, okay, it's not really high, but it's pretty high for someone who's actually not in the acting career. So it's it's a level five acting career, which is, or no, level five acting skill. So she's got that. And then I think her, oh, her painting skill, she's mastered that. She is, she's decently charismatic. She could probably definitely bring that up a little bit too but this is pretty good skill just to start I was debating having her move to Del Sol Del Sol Valley Del's I always want to say like Sol Leo Valley um that you know Hollywood place so I think that she I was debating having her move there but then again like she's in a relationship with the future Earl of the, what is it, of the future Earl of Brindleton Bay. So I don't know. I don't know. She's old enough to move out if she wants to. I just th figured I would start with her having the acting career. Okay, so we need to select an agency. So Everyday Extras Talent Agency or AI Staffing Agency. I'm going to go with AI Staffing Agency because Everyday Extras Talent Agency makes you think that you're only going to be an extra. I don't want her to just be an extra. She wants to be like a freaking star. So we're going to join that one. We need to earn a gold in a commercial acting gig. Okay. Can you only do that if you go with them? Like, do I have to go with them? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I think that she would move out if she's pursuing this. I mean, she has enough money to move out. She's independent enough. Maybe just for like a little bit. Maybe she would move for a little bit. I mean, she doesn't want to live in her brother's house anymore. 
She is like progressive. Princess Anna is a progressive princess. So I think she'd be like, I'm going to move out. I am out of here. I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah, okay, I guess she'll move out. So we're going to have Princess Anna. Oh, why am I traveling? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I pressed M. That means you're supposed to travel. I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, so we're just going to have Princess Anna move out. Oh, this is sad. I wasn't, like, prepared to do this at all. Oh my gosh. Why? Why is she covered? Oh my gosh, why is she blurred out? What is this? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so we're gonna have Princess Anna. She's going to start her own household. She's going to be on her own. <gasps> oh my gosh, War Ward, Ward. Oh gosh, I can never say that word. Ward, Judith Ward and Sir Javin, they had a baby. Oh my gosh, that is Princess Cora's ex-boyfriend. So they might be neighbors. Princess Anna might be their neighbors. Judith is not a nice person, so that should be interesting. Okay, so she's going to start her own household. She's going to be on her own. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, okay, so when, if, if she has a future with uh, Sir Marshall from Brindleton Bay, Sir Marshall would, like, I think she would still move back to Brindleton Bay to be the Duke. I don't know. I think she puts her career first, to be honest. I think she's like, I don't need no man in my life. So she's just she's just doing this. She's doing this on her own. I'm scared to do this. I'm scared for her. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now we have to get her all moved in into her own place. Okay, so we are moving with Princess Anna Windenburg. And I know they only give her like 20,000 simoleons, but she would have way more. I mean, she has a lot of money. Even though she's like doing this on her own, she still has her own like trust fund and all that stuff. So they have plenty of money. So I turned on free real estate because I don't think it's realistic for her to have to move into some little crappy lot or anything like that. Okay, so moving with Princess Anna. So I mean, this is the only house available. It's only got two bedrooms, but that's really all she needs. So I think she's going to move here. And this is a lot that comes with the game anyway. So I think that... She would, I don't know, I didn't need to, I didn't feel the need to get something from the gallery because, like, I'm not focusing too much on Princess Anna with the acting career because that's, like, a whole other thing. Like, Get Famous Pack is just its own thing. So I don't know if you guys want me to focus on that a lot. I don't think that it's really, like, that relevant to us, so I don't know. I do really want to see her house, though, so we're just going to, like, go check that out really quickly. Oh my gosh, this is so nice! I've never been here before! Oh, wow, it's really bare though. Like, what? In the, there's so much space. And like, not much is in here at all. It's so contemporary. Ooh. Oh my gosh, is that- are those beds? No! Is that a bed? That's a bed! That's her bed? What? In the world is this? What is that? Oh, it's a vault. What, what is that? For an art piece? Uh, oh, oh, it's a dinosaur skull. <gasps> oh, I, uh, I don't know why that's in there. That would not be something that Princess Anna would keep, I don't think. What else is there? Oh, good, there's an actual bed in here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, so she has an actual bed. I was like, I don't think she would sleep in one of those pods that just doesn't seem like her. She's a little bit of a diva, so I don't, I don't know. I don't think she would do that. Night on the town. Ooh. Princess Anna, do you want to go out on night on a town? On the town? On a town. On the town. Free food and drinks. <gasps> Free food and drinks? Oh my god. That's awesome. Okay, that starts now. Well, uh, I don't know. I guess maybe we should go. Let's go, I guess. I wasn't planning on focusing this much on Princess Anna and her new place, but this is nice. I don't know if we would ever do, like, a kingdom here, though, because it's already a kingdom that... It, not a kingdom. It's already a town that exists. So, like, someone would have to take over this world and then turn it into their kingdom by force. It would not be anything voluntary by the people that already live here. Maybe there could be, like, a president or a prime minister or a mayor. 
because I know that one of our viewers, they suggested having prime ministers, which I think is a great idea, by the way. Okay, hold on. Let me, like, actually bring her to a place first, and then I'll talk and explain this to you guys. Let's go to the hottest spot in town. Uh, ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh, she's got a romantic relationship with three guys. Oh, Princess Anna. All right, we're going to go with Sir Marshall, her actual boyfriend. Because I think she would still see him. I think he would be supportive of her choice to move. I think that he, like, I mean, he's already kind of have, he has, he's, he's going to have this title, the Earl of Brindleton Bay. But he likes Princess Anna a lot, too, so maybe he would give that up for her? I don't know. Okay, so we're doing a night out on the town with free food and drinks. So we're going to, I guess, we'll order some drinks. Is this a date? Oh, I guess this is a date. Oh, oh, she just walked right in. Wait, can Sir Marshall get in? He is a B-lister, so I don't know. Upscale. Requires three stars for access. Yeah, he's got three stars. That's fine. He can do that. So, oh, that was quick. We're done. We fulfilled what we needed to for this already. Okay, so what I was saying before is that one of our viewers suggested maybe doing, like, prime minister. And when a prime minister has, like, two terms, four, no, like, one, like, four years is the term. So we would have, uh, but it would only be, like, one year for the Sims like a sim year. Um, so I thought it would be really interesting, but we would need to wait until we have more, like, not commoners, but, like, not just the noble families. And I don't want to just add a bunch of sims to our game because there's already so many kids that we're going to have so many other sims that aren't going to be just nobles. So I think that it would be really cool when we get to there. I think it'd be really fun, and hopefully my channel will be bigger by then, because um, we only have like 180 subscribers right now, but I do not care. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going, because this is so much fun. Um, so I am hoping that we'll have some more viewers and subscribers by then, so you guys can maybe vote on the Prime Minister, and then I will make whoever the Prime Minister, um, I will make them whoever has the most votes. So let me know if you think that's fun, because I think it's fun. So hopefully you guys think it's fun, too. So anyway, so we fulfilled our night on the town. It looks like Princess Anna doesn't have to... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, when do we work next? We have to audition first. So that makes more sense. All right, so we need to pick something. Let's see. Oh, something with charisma skill. Let's do that. That one pays pretty well, too. So that's not going to be until 9 a.m. Saturday. Oh, okay. So that's not for another day. Um, so we'll come back to Princess Anna. We'll see how she's doing a little bit later. I'm really excited about her new place. This is actually a lot more exciting than I thought it was going to be because I thought it was just going to be really sad that she moved out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and check up on the Queen of Oasis Springs. Queen, or not, I'm sorry. She's not the queen yet. The Princess of Oasis Springs and the Prince of Oasis Springs, which is Prince Adrian and Princess Lindsay, or Princess Lynn, since we had to shorten her name. So um, we're going to check on them because Princess Lizzie is pregnant. So I think she's about to have her baby. We might honestly still have like a little bit more time. Okay. Lady Lindsay's only in her second trimester, so she has so much time left. So we're going to go back to Princess Anna, um, and we're going to just, I guess, we'll take it a little bit further with Sir Marshall. We'll take it a little farther with Sir Marshall. Okay, so we're back to Princess Anna. We are going to try to flirt a little bit more with Sir Marshall. So, ooh, we could ask him to move in. Oh, that is... It, it's too early I can't okay so why don't we just oh they're embracing they're really cute he seems really excited about something he's telling a really big story we'll caress his cheek Oh, okay. Princess Anna seems very impressed with this story. He's creative. He's a genius and he's creative. I think Princess Anna, like, found a great man because that is, like, that is just awesome. Princess Anna, where are you going? Why are you... What are you doing? What is this guy doing? Is he inciting cheers? 
Thorn Bailey. I don't like the way he looks. I know he's the one that comes with the game, but I just, I don't, he doesn't, like, he just looks like a, he looks like he loves himself, let's just say that. Okay, so why don't we just talk a little bit more with Sir Marshall. Wait, Sir Marshall, come back! <gasps> no, don't fall for the charm of that celebrity. Stop! Who are you talking to? What are you whispering about? Fan. Arnav Joyson. What are you... Man, all these people want to get in, but they can't. Oh, hey, that's our butler! He's a fan! Oh, no. Omar. No, don't stoop down to this level. Don't do it. You're too refined to be here. Okay, Princess Anna is chatting with Sir Marshall some more. Let's flirt some more. Why don't we get just like a little bit more and whisper seductively. You can't whisper seductively from there. That's not whispering. Okay, good. He's out next to her. I thought he was going to sit away from her. Wait, where are you going? No! Okay, they have to get close to each other to whisper. Ooh! Saucy. Share a night on the town spirit. Sure. Even though we already fulfilled what we needed to, but that's fine. And then complain about night on the town. <laughs> you can do either one. You can be happy about it, but you can also be upset about it. Okay. Should we invite him back to our house? Is there, like, a bedroom up here? I think they should start to woohoo. Um... Well, we'll, uh, I don't know. Kiss, kiss his cheek. Okay. Is there a bedroom up here? I feel like there should be, but I don't know if there is. Uh, what is this? Mm, no, no bedroom. This is kind of bare up here. What is the point of the upstairs? There's like a couch. Is that like the lounge area? I don't really know. I don't think there's a place for them to woohoo. Should we invite him back to our house? Where'd he go? <gasps> Did he leave? Oh, no, there he is. What are you doing out here? You don't need to be out here. You are a B-lister. Okay, let's travel back home with Sir Marshall. We'll bring him back to our place. I think that he should, though. If they're boyfriend and girlfriend, she should show him his her new place because, I mean, he probably helped her move in, to be honest. No, what am I saying? They probably hired people to do that for them. They have so much money. Okay, so we're going to travel back to our place with Sir Marshall Brindleton. All right, we are back to Princess Anna's amazingly expensive pad. There's, they've got so much land, and it's like all brick. Is this all her land too? All this up here? Oh my gosh! Whoa. Okay, so this house is actually like really small compared to everything else. This is. I don't. Uh, you know what? I don't even know how long she's gonna live here, so it's fine. We'll leave it for now. So, uh, Sir Marshall, why don't you come hang out over here in the house? We can go- where's the bedroom? Where is- where did the bedroom go? Wait, where's the bed? Oh, okay, there it is. So, we can go hang out here. Why don't we- should we, like, flirt some more? No, we already flirted a bunch. They had a few drinks. So, we're gonna woohoo with Sir Marshall for the first time. This is strange! I haven't had any of them woohoo outside of wedlock, guys. <laughs> this is, oh, Princess Anna is the wild one for sure. Oh, okay. I guess, wait, what? Are you not going to go woohoo? Um, do we have to flirt some more first and like be more in the mood or something? Or, oh wait, what are we doing? We're chatting with him. Okay. That's, oh, what happened? Nope. All right, go go chat with Sir Marshall then. If that's what you're gonna go do, so go go chat with him. Oh, he's using the bathroom. All right, whoops. Okay, sorry. Go do your thing. Okay, so we want to be flirty. Woohoo! Let's woohoo. You can woohoo twice and try for baby twice. Did you guys see that? That were like there were four different options and they had two of each on each option. That was strange. Okay, so. We're going to try to see if he wants to woohoo. He looks like he is down. Oh, yep, he's down. And Princess Anna is super excited about it, too. And they are going to go to the bedroom together. Guys, they would have some real good-looking kids. I'm actually, I oh, I kind of hope that they do get kids together because 
What? Whoa, what just happened? Oh, all right. Whoa, look at the cityscape. I've never seen that before. Oh, whoa, wait, I've never actually seen this before. <gasps> whoa. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. There are definitely not that many lots here, that's for sure. Oh my god! Oh, I've never actually seen this. This is so cool. This view is awesome. No wonder this is where the rich people live. Oh my gosh, this is totally LA. Like, there's no doubt about it. All right, they're woohooing. They're doing their thing. Is that three showers? What? Why do we have three showers? Wait, no. Wait. Yeah. Right? That's not a mirror, right? There's three showers. What? Why do we need that many? Why? Why? Okay, I get there's one in this bathroom and one in that bathroom, but why are there two in the same bathroom? Who would shower, like, right next to each other? They're like, oh, I have to go shower. It's like, oh, I have to shower too, but I'm going to shower next to you. That's just, that's, that seems weird. All right, so they've woohooed. They've taken their relationship to the next level. Uh, so they're getting serious. I don't know if Sir Marshall might propose to her. To her, to her, we don't know. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys think that we're on the right path with Princess Anna. I know that she's been wanting to be an actress for such a long time. So in the next episode, we will get to see the Oasis Springs baby. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and share. And we will see you guys the next episode.